Hi everyone, welcome to Three Kids in a Home. I am Tiffany and today we are continuing part three of my deep clean series. Last week you all saw me do a very deep clean in my kitchen and so I am continuing on. I'm in my stairwell right now. I'll be moving into my foyer and also completing a deep clean of my dining room. Starting in my stairwell, I'm just going to be using a Dawn vinegar solution in order to lift up the dirt along the crevices. And this is the only thing that you're going to see me using when I do clean along my baseboards and trim today. Dirt and dust build up so easily along the stringers of the stairway, so I like to use this electric scrubber to go in and penetrate that dirt to help me break it up. And then I just take a cloth and wipe it down easy. Once my two-year-old gets a little older, I am going to be removing the carpet from the stairs. But for now, in the near future, I'm going to be taking out the light fixture as well as adding some wall decor. If you are new to this channel, I just want to say welcome to you all. I am Tiffany, and on this channel, you will find all things home decor, cleaning, DIY, and organization. So if you like to see that sort of thing, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because I've got plenty more projects coming for you all. And if you have been to my channel before, I just want to say thank you so much for choosing to come and spend your time with me today. I hope everyone's new year is going well so far. January is almost over already. So one of my new year's resolutions for this year was to get more organized. So that is what I wanted the focus to be in. It's going to be projects sprinkled with organization. As a family of five, we do have a lot of stuff, but I want everything to just be neat and tidy and in its place. And we do have that set up sort of, but I want to create something that's more efficient for our family. And so this year, you're going to see a lot of closet organizations. I'm going to be renovating some of these closets that we have. My daughters, they share a bedroom, and so I definitely want to organize their space. And so you're going to see that. Let me know in the comments, you all, where are you at with your New Year's resolutions? Have you started them? Did you even make any at all? Or have you hit pause for now? The thing about resolutions are you can start at any time. You don't have to wait until the new year. So even if life has caused you to hit pause on that resolution, it is never too late to go back in and pick up where you left off to get that accomplished.
For the entryway, I'm going to go ahead and just remove all of the furniture and the rugs so that way I can make sure the floors get nice and clean and that way all the dust doesn't land back on everything that I just wiped off. One of the things that we would like to change in this area is we do want to get a new front door. This front door was just a standard builder grade door and so we want something a little fancier and we also want something that will let some more natural light shine through also. I don't really do any decorating for Valentine's Day or anything like that. I won't really change things up much until the spring. So for my entryway decor, I'm still going to keep things cozy and neutral by just adding in these white faces and then sticking with these gold florals that I already had on these shelves. To my entryway bench, I'm just going to add in these cute little cozy throw pillows just to make it cozy over here. These throw pillows are actually just covers that I already had on hand. And then I'm going to add to this corner just this cute little accent table that I picked up from Ross. And then you've seen this vase in my Christmas living room decor. I'm just moving it into this corner. Moving into the dining room, I'm going to go ahead and give all of the walls a nice scrub down, make sure that we don't have any spider webs or anything in the corner. I'm also going to just give the inside of my window sills a nice clean and spray down the windows to make sure that we remove any inside spots. And then as far as the decor goes in the dining room, I'm still keeping it with my gold and white decor. The only thing I mainly did was just remove my Christmas accent pieces.
for my dry bar area over here, I'm still using all the things that I already had on hand and sticking with my cozy winter vibes. So to this bowl, I'm just going to add in these florals and add this garland that I used for Christmas. I'm just now gonna bring it out because it does go with my winter theme. And then I found these cute little candle holders and candles as well. So I'm just going to place them back out and I really think they just add such a nice little oomph to the space. Last but not least for tonight, I'm just going to continue cleaning my foyer here. So I'm just going to wipe down all my baseboards. This area does get the most traffic and so it collects hair and dust and dirt really does get embedded. So I did use the scrubber just to kind of lift up that dirt a little bit and then I'm going over here with a rag just as I did in my stairway. Alright you all, so it has been a long day, so I am done cleaning for now, I'm calling it a night. I will probably be moving on to the second floor for a little bit of decluttering next week. Thank you all so much for watching with me. There is nothing like coming home to a clean, fresh house, so I hope that you were able to get some cleaning motivation. And until next time, be blessed.